So if you haven't watched the safety and operation video of the Van de Graaff generator, watch that now before you proceed in any experiments. So in this experiment, hair on end, we're going to have a lovely volunteer from the audience or a potential friend who has preferably straight, longer hair. So what we're going to do is have them stand on the platform, which is plastic, so it's insulated. You can also use a milk crate, which is acceptable. So we'll have them stand, and we're going to have them place both hands on the dome. And we want his arms to be the closest things to the dome than his body. So his arms are fully extended. This is the position, the ideal position for this experiment. So once again, I touch the dome before he put his hands on it. And once I start to charge it up, I do not want him to take his hands off and put them back on. If he takes his hands off, the dome will keep charging up. So there will be a difference in charge. And in the, with a difference in charge, the electrons may discharge onto him, which may shock him. So once he takes his hands off the dome, he wants to very quickly bring them to his body and then step down. That way, all of the electric charge he has on his body will dissipate into the Earth. So now we can see how this experiment works. So I want to turn it down, just like before. And while I have the grounding rod and dome in contact, he can place his hands on and off of the dome. You want to do that? OK. And nothing happens. But as soon as I start to charge him up, I do not want him taking him off and putting him back on. So here we go. And it may help if he wiggles his head a little bit. And there you can see his hair starts to charge up. And once again, what's happening is the electrons from the dome are going to his body. And they're going into the each an individual hair. And they're repelling each other. So then, one thing you also want to make sure of is that no longer is the closest path the grounding uh, sphere. So you want to be as far away from the person that's charged up. You have to be farther than the sphere is to the dome. Because now, if someone is right behind him, they can get shocked. So typically, you would want a larger area and make sure there is no one in arm's length, at least, so you don't accidentally discharge on them. So now we can have Nick take his hands off, brings them to his body quickly, I dissipate, and now he steps down, and the charge is lost. All right, so a quick safety recap before you start any experiments. You want to make sure you're not wearing any type of jewelry, metal jewelry, so earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and you want to make sure to take your phone and any type of keys outside of your pocket to cause an so you don't cause an accidental spark. And once you actually start to interact with the, the Van de Graaff, you want to make sure to always discharge any type of charge that's already on the dome through the grounding sphere first. And remember that the on and off switch does start at high and progressively gets lower. So you, as soon as you turn it on, you want to turn it all the way to the right. Once you actually start to do the hair experiment, you want to make sure they're on a large insulator. So in our case, we're using plastic. And there's also a milk crate that you can use if you're going anywhere else to do the experiments other than Hancock. And then once you actually have the experiment going, once you start to charge up the dome, you, do, you cannot have anyone put their hands on and off because they will get shocked. While they take their hands off, the dome is charging up. And we're, us on the ground are basically at zero. So the voltage difference is going to cause the charge to jump, which will shock you. So once you start to charge it up, you want to be farther than the grounding rod. And then once they actually take their hands off, you want to make sure they take their hands off quickly. That way, they do not come in contact with it again after it charges up. And you want to ground it and have them step off the insulator, which will safely dissipate all of the charge into the ground.